Yo, what's going on, Diecast Racing fans, and welcome back to EP Videos. I am your host, EP, and here with me, my co-host is uh, Ted. Ted, what are you doing underneath Numskull's car? Learning the secrets of the Numskull. Ted, get out from underneath his car before Numskull catches you. Pretty sure he's not going to be very cool with you messing around his car before the race. Now, we are one lap deep into the finals of the Pikes Peak Rally Tournament. Coming in first, we have Numskull, Dangerous Don, Sam Hall, and Arlo. Now, don't let these scores fool you. All of these drivers are very fast, and all of them veteran drivers. In fact, three of the drivers have set the best track times here at Pikes Peak. So this is going to be a great show today. Now, in lap one, you may see a gap in the drivers or in the group here, but this is lap one out of eight. Yes, we will be doing eight laps for these drivers. And by the end of the eight laps, we will determine who is the king of Pikes Peak. Now, Numskull setting a nice pace for the group. Sam Hall choking at the finish line, opening the door to Dangerous Dawn to take that second place position. 15.05, that's a pretty good track time set by Numskull. And Numskull still holds the fastest track time here at Pikes Peak. Moving into lap two, we have Sam Hall sitting in the pole position looking for some redemption after lap one. And Sam Hall and Numskull setting a nice pace in front of the group. Sam gets sideways and Numskull makes the pass and Numskull is gone. I don't think the other three drivers are going to keep up. Once Numskull gets an opportunity, he takes it and just wastes the rest of the group, leaves them in the dust. Now we're going to need a challenger. If this keeps happening, Numskull is going to dominate the finals. And what kind of fun is it if Numskull dominates the finals? It's only fun for Numskull. Let's pick it up. Sam Hall, Arlo, and Dangerous Don. Let's see someone challenge. 15.85. Eh, decent track time. We want to see something in the 14s and Numskull, I don't know if he's holding back, but he usually throws down some 14 lap times. Moving into lap three, we have Arlo sitting in the pole position. It is his time to shine. Bring it home, Arlo. And Arlo and Sam Hall again. We see a gap in the group. And this time, Numskull is in the back. No opportunity for Numskull to pass. Well, oops, maybe I just jinxed that. <laughs> Dangerous Don getting sideways and then a pile up there at the finish line. Wow, crazy race in lap three. Our highlights will be the pass by Numskull, I guess. Check out uh, Dangerous Don. A lot of drivers having trouble coming out of that 270 turn. Now, fortunately for Dangerous Don, he was able to keep it on the track. We've seen other drivers just ram into that guardrail. I think that sent um, Darlow, was that right? Darlow to the hospital? I don't know if he's ever returned. We need an update on Darlow's status at the Hops hospital. <laughs> and then uh, finishing here, it looks like Sam gets it just by a nose. So he confirmed that. And then uh, Dangerous Don brings up the rear of the pack. 16.53, kind of a slow track time there. Moving into lap four, we have Dangerous Don sitting in the pole position. Lap five, we will reset with Numskull back in the pole. Let's see if Dangerous Don and Arlo can pull anything out. It looks like Numskull and even Sam Hall is challenging. Both of them move up in front of the group Sam getting a little crazy and Sam loses it <laughs> to Dangerous Don and Arlo. Numskull again leading the pack and having a big lead in front of the group and Sam challenges Arlo at the finish line. Wow, lots of back and forth there. So Sam moves in front of the group. As they come out of the 270 turn, I don't know what happens with Sam there, but he just lose, he just gives up. Maybe this is a tactic. He's uh, checking out the strategy of Arlo and Dangerous Don. But why? We got Numskull blasting 14.79. Now that is a fast track time. 
doesn't put uh, Numskull on the board because he still holds the best track time, but that was impressive. Moving into lap five, we are restarting Numskull back in the pole position. This is kind of round two, you might say. Let's see if anyone can challenge Numskull. We do not want this to be a blowout. And Numskull has a healthy lead in front of the group. Sam getting sideways yet again. Oh, and Numskull takes it in the face on the guardrail. We're going to go trackside and see if Numskull is okay. That was gnarly. But that may be the door of opportunity for these uh, other three drivers that they need. I hate to see it this way. Um, he was slotted for five points in this lap and just takes that guardrail. It looks like he takes it on the passenger side. So uh, getting report in from track side, it looks like Numskull's okay. They just got to get the wrecker out there and get his car back, <laughs> back on his wheels. He flips. Checking out the scores, we have... Numskull in the lead with 17 points, followed by Sam Hall with 15. Arlo and Dangerston are going to have to pick it up if they want to challenge these other two drivers. But there may be a hope. Can Sam Hall challenge this king of Pikes Peak? He, I mean, Numskull has really been showing his stuff. Numskull gets sideways, loses a lot of speed, and Sam is on his way to the finish line. I don't think Numskull is going to challenge at all. Thank goodness Sam is actually showing some initiative in this round too. Numskull chokes coming out of our first open turn. Flips around backwards. And Arlo and Dangerous Don are unable to make any passes. Numskull walked that in for the second place position. And even though it was slow... He still earned himself an additional three points. Now, right now, it's tied with Sam Hall and Numskull, so the playing field has finally been leveled. 15.78. We only have two laps left, and I think it may be coming down to Sam Hall and Numskull. Sitting in our pole position, we have Arlo. Right behind him, we have Sam Hall, and they are pulling out an early lead in front of the group. Numskull and Dangerous Don, nowhere to be found. And Sam Hall makes the pass on the 270 turn. He is going for that first place position. Arlo chokes and gives it up to Sam. Sam Hall has climbed the ladder and got himself in a great position for the last lap of the Pikes Peak Rally Tournament. Sam currently sitting in first place with 25 points, and we have Numskull sitting in second with 21 points. It does not look like Arlo or Dangerous Don have any opportunity to challenge for first place, so it's going to come down to Sam Hall and Numskull. Moving into our last and final lap, Dangerous Dawn will be sitting in that pole position, so it will be interesting to see if Sam Hall or Numskull is able to take it. Numskull is sitting in the front. That would be the third place pole position behind him. Sam Hall in the very last seat. Sam is going to have to give it his all if he wants to win this tournament. And Numskull and Sam Hall both challenge moving up into the first and second place position. Numskull is holding on to the lead. And if Sam can hold on to this second place position, he will win the Pikes Peak Tournament. And Sam Hall is our winner for the finals in the Pikes Peak Rally Tournament. Congratulations, Sam Hall with 28 points. Coming in second place, we have Numskull with 26 points. We want to thank Arlo and Dangerous Don for coming out and even Numskull. Numskull putting down some of the best track times. In fact, the best track time here at Pikes Peak 14.41. And there is your 2023 Rally Tournament Champions. We have first place, Sam Hall, with a car weight of 67.3 grams. Second place, we have Numskull, with a car weight of 69 grams. And third place, we have Arlo, 
with a car weight of 66.5. We want to thank everyone who had a participation in the Pikes Peak Rally Tournament and we are looking forward to future tournaments. The up and coming next tournament will be Need for Speed, The Daily On. We'll see you then and that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.